So these clips uh, have been taken out of all my uh, recent videos. This is what Pam Sir on the way to uh, Kanchanaburi, really beautiful spot. And uh, I've seen it many times as I went past and this time decided to go in and uh, shoot some video of it. Really lovely place, beautiful architecture. Yeah, so all these clips are... Uh, just of my travels around Thailand and the last uh, 40 or so videos I've done, I, I couldn't possibly put together uh, a reel of clips for uh, the whole lot of them. But this is just some highlights, like a highlight uh, tour of uh, where I've been and what I've done so far. This is uh, the next clips are of... Uh, over at uh, Rob's house and the completion of his pool so uh, Robert had a swim I was I think I was the second person to use the pool actually and uh, yeah had a few beers over there with Matt and Kay and Rob and B yeah enjoyed the pool we, uh, Rob was very happy that it was uh, completed the completion of Rob's pool with a nice beer B's gone across the road to get some more beers <laughs> Rob's friend Matt Sweden. is here from Sweden. But I lived in Australia for five years. Yes. Do you know Inga? Inga, Inga. from Sweden. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Rob's happy the pool's right, done. There you go. Well deserved. Here, Chang. Chang. <laughs> Can't have enough of it. Makes you feel young. This, of course, is uh, Kankratchan. The uh, the dam, the reservoir that feeds all the area around here. Uh, went up here. I've been up here a couple of times. Went up this time to uh, have a look, and the waterfalls again were not open. And so uh, heard about the uh, crazy water monkeys. So went in to have a look at them. Cost a little bit of money, but you know it was fun. The monkeys were pretty far out. Uh, I've never seen monkeys swimming before, especially like those ones. And, you know, diving into the water off the top of the boat and stuff like that. Yeah, interesting time and uh, an interesting part of my journey here in Thailand. As you can see, heading over towards the uh, monkey island now. And in this next clip you'll see them when the boat's coming they just go berserk and all run down the hill and dive into the water and swim out to the boat to get the uh, probably very unhealthy treats for them. Uh, you buy a bag from the guy that runs the boat and uh, throw them in the water, feed them to the monkeys on the boat, etc, etc. Yeah, interesting little expedition this one was. They were... Um, pretty crazy and they're pretty greedy although the island looks like there wouldn't be too much food on there for them they look like they've destroyed all the trees that are on there so there's probably not much food on there for them i'm surprised that if they can swim they don't swim off the island to some other location where they may find food although you never know they may do that and uh, uh, they're pretty adept in the water look at that yeah Yeah, I'm loving it. Loving life, guys. Loving life. Look at that. I'm here in this beautiful, cool water. On a really... uh, this was an interesting little place. Uh, a road stop. Yeah, stop for coffee on my way up to uh, Mahasarakam at this little... Uh, roadside uh, restaurant amazon amazon coffee shops there at every every truck stop every road stop and then up into the country real thai countryside not very green at the moment because uh, the rice season is over really love to come and see it up here when it's all green and the fresh rice has started growing i'd imagine it'll look really beautiful 
at the moment up here the people are growing watermelons and strawberries and stuff like that eking out a living in between rice crops breeding cows and uh, you know most of them live off their farms you know they have their pulpo papaya salad and they cook stuff in these uh, clay ovens sticky rice and stuff like that uh, yeah and mostly they uh, eat during the day sometimes they stay on the farm for a while they eat during the day stuff that they pick on the farm pretty amazing and then of course I headed off to uh, on the way back to Korat Nakon Ratchasima went to the zoo had a little day outing at the zoo so I could find any of my relatives uh, looking for elephants could only find one baby African elephant no Thai elephants so far but shortly I'll be organizing a trip to uh, uh, an apparently very beautiful elephant and animal sanctuary not far from Cha'am so I'm going to go up and do a day or two up there they have cabins and everything and I've already spoken to them they'll let me put the drone up etc so I should get some good footage from up there shortly closed at the moment because of the situation so uh, this is uh, of course the Buri Ram uh, racing circuit pretty well known in Thailand and uh, I think you know, I think around the world too I think they have international competitions they wouldn't let me go in with the drone so I went up on the hill where this uh, old uh, temple has been rebuilt here and uh, put the drone up here and then flew it in over the well close to the circuit anyway Honda had the police booked out for the day so they wouldn't let anyone in and uh, this old ancient uh, temple was not actually a temple but I think it was at one stage I think it's been rebuilt on the site from uh, the existing ruins that were there this is in uh, Buriram and on the site they also have the Buriram FC uh, stadium as well had a good feed at the hotel that I stayed in in Buriram it was absolutely delightful look at that yummy yeah and then went to visit some uh, other uh, ancient ruins this is an old uh, Khmer Hindu temple up on top of the mountain at the back of Buriram it was pretty interesting I love ancient things history history of Thailand etc etc I just love to see these ancient ruins and you know it brings me thoughts of you know how many how many thousands of people have, have walked through here hundreds and hundreds of years ago etc yeah I just find it amazing you yeah. know notice that the uh, stone roof is actually built from the same stones not roof tiles yeah pretty awesome stuff pretty awesome uh, uh, stonework pretty old as well and then got to see a newborn calf up on the farm before I came back that was pretty awesome he was a cute little fella yeah his mum giving him a wash he was a cute little fella yeah He wouldn't get up though. He was a bit lazy. Don't know if he had a name. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Pepsi. This is Pepsi. Yeah. And that's Pepsi. And, and, and one of my mates I met on the trip, Pepsi. And then, of course, there was the, uh, the internet dating videos. Uh, they were all in the my videos list. Uh, that was interesting, an interesting uh, experience and so far has worked absolutely fantastic and is still here with me now in Cha'am uh, just a dream come true really so sometimes internet dating can work in a very beneficial and uh, happy way uh, This, those clips were taken from the uh, the two-part series, Internet Dating, Meeting a Thai Woman. 
on the internet and meeting up which uh, has its traps of course but sometimes one can be lucky and everything can work out perfectly yeah so it was really nice over there in Bangsan which is over near Pattaya well a fair way from Pattaya but over that way anyway it was a long trip on the bike we had a good time we really we stayed in this hotel here it was uh, it was okay it was a little bit expensive for what it is but it was we had it most of the time to ourselves pool and everything to ourselves uh, food wasn't uh, absolutely fantastic we went out for food and uh, then we went to a, uh, a birthday party this was a birthday party in Pattaya in the bar in Pattaya gives you an idea of what goes on there the birthday girl's got to do shots and she gets given money of course and wears a garland of money around her neck that was a pretty good night and uh, had fun there and then of course we got to uh, starting a new shop starting a business in Cha'an so we go through the shop this was what it was like when I first opened the the building and looked in there it was uh, a bit of a mess a bit of a rat's nest and uh, took a lot of work to get it to what it is now as you can see there was a lot of stuff had to be done in there had to retile the floors had to do a lot of painting hell of a lot of cleaning before we even got started working on it and uh, yeah took that mirror out <laughs> of course plans change mid renovation yeah so it was messy it was grubby it was dilapidated it was leaking but i saw the potential of the place and where it is is right in the bar street so when the bars finally do open again we should uh, get some exceptionally good vi business and any of you people watching the video who uh, do come to the shop now to the billabong really appreciate it really appreciate it and appreciate all your comments and uh, and uh, reviews on, on the uh, the billabong facebook page as well thanks so much for coming and eating at our store yeah so renovations underway a lot of work had to be done the contractor did a midnight flit on me mind you he had completed everything but when i'd give him the last payment he just didn't come back he only returned the keys back to me about a month later so uh, i still did have some things to do but i got another contractor in a very good contractor put the drainage and the water etc and a water pump in for me there's my cleaner no i'm sitting in there surveying the store getting the uh, equipment in there getting everything set up ready to open up yeah almost ready now didn't have the second freezer in there at this stage but uh, have that in there now and the place is open and up and running and going really well well considering the situation the shop is doing pretty well my daughter Vera did the menus for me and the logos for the shirts uh, Robin B am doing the blessings for the shop before we open there's our first customers ever in the shop shop up and running open hot day got to have the fans going all the time I have to keep the exhaust fans going all the time because the electrical equipment the couple of freezers and the fridge in there keep it really warm yeah so and, and then uh, a trip to Bangkok I did did a video on a trip to Bangkok where I went to uh, to uh, Wat Arun which is the uh, temple of the dawn speed boats for tourists they're not getting much work at the moment Icon Siam which is a new uh, a new uh, place there on the river what Aron buy your trinkets buy your Buddhas B 
Beautiful gardens, absolutely beautiful orchids everywhere in this place. It was a lucky one. I've been so many places and the waterfalls weren't open and this wasn't open and that wasn't open. But uh, this time I got lucky because all the orchids were in bloom and I really love orchids. A couple of what, what are on characters. And uh, yeah, this is a pretty amazing place. And uh, while I was there, I actually got to see some people doing some painstaking restoration work in uh, one of the annexes of the temple. That was pretty amazing. They do uh, pretty good work. Look at these, the temple guards, they're pretty awesome too. Yeah, so uh, it's a beautiful place. It's in Bangkok. It's an it's a nice little trip on on the BTS train and the and the ferry, and it's a, a really beautiful temple. It's a nice place to go. Millions of people go there, of course, but it, it doesn't take away from the the beauty of the place and the and the interesting uh, adventure that it is to go there and have a look. Some amazing architecture. Here's the people doing the restoration work on this old part. I'm not sure what they use, some sort of plaster, I guess, and then they repaint everything. I, I don't know if they have photos of, of what they've retouched with the plaster or whatever, but it looks painstaking work, and they appear to do a very good job of it. Got a little blessing from this monk while I was there. Must have had the camera setting wrong there some way some reason I had the light settings wrong that's why it's come out blue but you can still see the painstaking work that they're doing there and beautiful intricate work and building those temples they're, they're all extremely beautiful you know and uh, it's quite a huge complex probably covers about a square kilometer maybe more and uh, the gardens are absolutely beautiful I uh, saw one of the gardeners working there, there he is, trimming the hedges and uh, yeah, they do such a good job, they do such a really good job. I had a little chat with him and told him I thought he was doing an absolutely fantastic job. Really beautiful places, those temples. As most of you know, from my previous videos I love going to the temples even though there's 10 millions of them in Thailand each one is unique in a certain way and uh, they're a very intricate part of uh, Thai life of the Thai lifestyle and the Thai culture yeah so what Aron the temple of the dawn and some uh, absolutely amazing architecture so thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Please share the videos around. Help me build up my uh, subscriber uh, count. And uh, I'm going to get some new stuff out to you very shortly. Uh, been a little bit uh, housebound at the moment, of course. We've got a really tough uh, situation going on here with the re re uh, emergence of the uh, Rona and lockdowns and curfews etc not much open nowhere to go and really shoot anything but hopefully by the end of this month or well, the end of july maybe it looks like everything's going to be the end of july now so we'll see what happens thanks for watching bye for now
mercy on me Didn't mean to pull the trigger Now I need to run away to be free I guess I'm not the kind of man That I wanted to be I shot a man, I took a woman Away from me A train Carry me away Judgment Day.